ठीक है फर्स्ट रिजल्ट अ साइकिल ऑफ लेंथ एन कैन बी एक्सप्रेस एज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एन माइनस वन ट्रांसपोजिशन सब देर फॉर साइकिल ऑफ लेंथ एन विल बी इवन परमुटेशन इफ एन इज ऑड एन ऑड परमुटेशन इफ एन इज इवन इट मीन्स दिस एन is 5 5 is odd number then number of transposition will be 4 and 4 is even number it means permutation will be even if here is a 4 4 means even number then the product of even transpositions will be 3 it means permutation will be odd Okay. In particular, every transposition is a odd permutation because one transposition means one one is odd number. Identity permutation is always an even permutation because there is no any transposition means zero transposition. Or this is because if I is identity permutation, then I can be expressed as product of two transposition. one is itself and one is its inverse it means even permutation identity permutation is even permutation and transposition is or transposition and product of two even permutation is again even permutation and product of odd permutation is again even permutation and product of even and odd permutation is odd permutation okay the product of two odd permutation is even permutation and product of even permutation is same the inverse of even permutation is even permutation and inverse of odd permutation is always odd permutation okay means if you take inverse of even permutation again result inverse of uh, suppose alpha is even permutation then alpha inverse always even and if beta is odd permutation then beta inverse is also odd permutation now determine which of the following are even here is f the two one cycle and this now see here this cycle can be written as product of transposition and this is what one you write 1 3 1 2 or 1 2 1 3 and 1 2 same 1 2 3 3 transpositions it means there is a odd number it means f is odd permutation again second example g and now in g example you can be written 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 i told before you you write in this way or you write 1 5 1 4 1 3 1 no problem number of transposition always fixed okay and here is 1 2 1 3 here is a 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 7 is again or g is or permutation or simply you convert these in uh, permutation form or product these and get one permutation then maybe use inversion or signature methods no problem okay again you check uh, third number one two one three is uh, one two three four all is already in transposition form total is one two three four four is even number it means in permutations okay now total number of in, uh, permutation of degree n if we have a uh, symmetric group of degree n then total number of even permutation if there are total number of n permutations on n symbols means sn has n factorial elements every element is a permutation or function then 1 upon 2 n factorial even permutation and 1 upon 2 n factorial or odd permutation ठीक है इफ 
you have any group okay in the end of this lecture you may ask if you have any difficulty okay yeah if we have any symmetric group of n symbols and you know that sn has n factorial elements then how many uh, even permutation one upon two n factorial it means in any symmetric group half even permutation and half is odd suppose s3 means six element three even permutations to be odd if uh, s4 means four factorial means 24 element 12 even and 12 odd means half even permutation and half or permutation in any s and group and this proof of this is very easy okay you can easily check it's very easy here is uh, even permutation these are odd permutation and we write in sn the whole set and proof okay group of all even permutation of degree n now in above theorem you have knowledge in every sn there are one upon two n factorial even permutation and one upon two n factorial odd permutation if we collect only even permutations from sn and make a set and apply binary operation composition of mapping then this order pair form a group it satisfy all properties of the group only even per set of even permutations and this group this a and suppose we represent this by a a n a n represents set of even permutations and this subset of s n and this group is called alternating group and what is the what is the uh, degree of this group how many elements are there one upon two n factorial and this collection a n a set is called alternating set of permutation of degree n if we apply compose uh, binary operation composition of mapping then this order perform a group and this group is a special name alternating group who has only even permutations okay group of all even permutation of degree n the set a n of all even permutation of degree n form a finite group of order 1 upon 2 n factorial with respect to multiplication of permutation this composition of permutation known as alternating group okay this is very uh, important group now to show a n a group under multiplication we check the example you know that first is kiloyer law in kiloyer law a n only even permutation if you multiply two even permutation again you will get same even permutation in s n means kiloyer law is the whole associative means multiplication of permutation is associative this is very easy what is identity identity also here because identity is also even permutation then identity multiply by any even permutation is it is even permutation and inverse also there because according to above result if f is even permutation then its inverse is also even it means f and f inverse also given if you multiply you get i it means all properties of group satisfy this group it means alternating group is set of all permutations and compose and binary operation is composition of permutation okay but what about odd if you collect again odd permutation and make a group and again you check kiloyer kiloyer law then what about identity okay uh, kiloyer law is old what is identity identity is not a odd permutation that's why it's fell 
the total number of permutation on degree n are n factorial exactly half of them are even thus there are 1 upon 2 n factor element in the set n therefore n form a finite group of order 1 upon 2 n factorial with respect to multiplication of permutation the product of two odd permutations is even permutation okay the product of two odd permutation is even permutation according to our result therefore the set of all odd permutation is not closed with respect to multiplication it means there is uh, inverse does not exist but cloyer law also not holds because product of two odd permutation is not odd permutation it means this uh, the set uh, collection of odd permutation not form a group okay uh, thank you very much for your patience and listening my lecture now uh, if you uh, if you have any question you may ask from me and ask me one by one and easily okay you may ask